You fool! That rocket helmet's gonna do more to you. You gotta do more than you recover. Can we kill with rocket helmet? <laughs> yes! The Scarberry from beyond the grave! All right, it's a new dawn, a new day, and with any luck, the start of a new win streak. Hello, my name is Shadow Gallade, and welcome to the PWC Season 11, Week 1, where you're fighting the NH, not just any NH, the one and only NH, and the Septile Socialists. And as you can see, it's another sand team with the Houndstone. Oh god, not again. So what's our plan to stop this? First of all, the terrifying rat with the speed to outspeed non-sand Excadrill, as it's very like, as there is a possibility we'll catch it, and we outspeed the majority of his team, barring Sand Rushers, Intellion, and Ogre Pond Rock. The Rocky Helmet Skarmory as a rock solid counter to a majority of his plant sweepers, not named Delphox, which gets countered by this, the Greninja. Protean decided to go physical for the sake of maximizing damage on coverage like Gunk Shot and Shadow Sneak, and I may, because I may as well at that point. The Willow Hex Dragapult, mostly because, well, it's good to have it on this team, and we don't really need full power to kill the Delphox. And the Iron Moth, with again enough speed for the speed tie the Ogre Pond Rock, and T Spikes because he doesn't have a grounded poison, and the majority of his team isn't immune to it, so it will be useful to have around. And finally, the Assault Vest Conkelder, as it is really good into this matchup, and hopefully can deter the Houndstone from doing anything. See you guys in the battle. And we're back, and as we can see, there's the Sand Team. I'm kind of surprised to into it, in all honesty. There's the Houndstone, sadly, as its Terra Captain. And other than that, none of the minor threats I expected, although sadly Delphox is still here. With, the re with it replacing King Gambit. So be it. As for his lead against us, it could either be... Uh, well, let's see, it could be the Tyranitar to set up the hazards, the Gators to try and be a threat, or Houndstone to burn something. As for our best bet against those, outside of Delphox, the best bet would probably be the Puka Chums. So let's just stay in and try to cook. Good luck, have fun to THE M. Remember, he's the one and only M. I cannot emphasize enough how much he is THE N-H. Now then... Hey, we're basic together, brother! Alright, what's your lead? Hopefully time to talk. Gyarados! Oh, that's fine! We got the rat! There's no way he stays in here. And actually, yeah, because like even if he goes into Excadrill, I can just Terra Blast fighting. Let's Volt Switch on him. Yep, that's fine. If you go Excadrill, I am going to immediately click the Terra Fighting. I was tempted to click the Terra Fighting, but nah, it's not worth it this early. So let's just Volt Switch with the rat! And we can actually calc Volt Switch here. I want to say that's largely HP invested, if nothing else. And that's fine. Let's just go into the Kinkelder now. But then he, like... I, yeah, there's no way. Again, there's no way he stays in here. Same issue as last time. Hopefully you go Delphox or Houndstone, which we can just knock off. Preferably Delphox. Oh, you stayed in! You are a bold one. Probably predicting me to predict the switch. That's fair, fair game, fair game. Probably Smooth Rock? That's Smooth Rock, okay. See, he was planning to lean into the sand. Fully a sweep us. And I'm gonna knock off again. There's no way he stays in now that we're probably going to mock punch. Come on, go Delphox. Although I will complain of a townstone. That's fine! Shit, I said it again! Okay, well, we can at least calculate if you're fluffy or not, and there we go, your leftovers. Now I gotta check, does Sand Rush give you an immunity to Sandstorm? You're fluffy! That's confirmed fluffy, I don't even need to check. 
Now the problem is, we don't know it's Terra. He's not required to tell us. We're not gonna force him to tell me. So the question is what I do here. I could go the Moth, but I kinda wanna save it. I could go Skarmory. I actually think I'm going to stay in. I was tempted to drain punch here, but again, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. Fairy Houndstone. Okay. At the very least, you can't really heal much. Can you will wisp me like a dum dum bubblegum? Protecting the Iron Fist? Oh god, Terra Blast! Well, I'm glad it didn't go Greninja at least. Oh, Kakelder, you lived! You also did nothing. Oh, well. Now, I actually could stay in. Actually, we don't have a good remover outside of Skarmory, but that's also a good remover in its own right. It's a tricky call, but I think I have to let King Kelder die, because what's gonna happen here? He's going to click friggin' Pain Split, trying to get us to switch out. Take two damage, sucker! Alright, that's fine. Kel- I said it again. Old habits die hard, what can I say? Well, at the very least, we could safely go into Iron Moth. But should I? No, actually. I'm going to go into Pikachu and kill with T-Bolt. I want to give the rat kills! That's not up for debate. I want this rat to do something cool. Pikachu, you stop their bolt! Yes! The rat kill! The rat got the kill! Oh, that is amazing. The rat's useful. And what if the main wall is down? So Greninja is much stronger. I'm guessing the extra is gonna come in here. Ogre Pond? Huh. I have an idea. Nope, Ivy Cudgel will still kill. So with that in mind, yeah, I gotta go Skarmory. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. We need to go Skarmory. Going into the Super Skarm. Oh, Sword Stance! Aw, oh, darn, if only we had a good, spooky steel type that completely shit... shut you down. What are we gonna do, guys? I'm actually going to... should I Iron Defense here? No, we don't have enough. I'm going to just Body Press. We can take the Ivy Cudgel. Not comfortably, but we can take it. Oh, that crit sucks. Well, that's bad. All right, Skarmory's dying. You fool! That rock helmet's gonna do more to you. You gonna do more than you recover. Can we kill with rock helmet? <laughs> yes! The Skarmory from beyond the grave! Oh, that is amazing. Oh, that's perfect. I'm going back into the Pikachu, screw this. Tyranitar, hopefully you stay in and click knockoff here so we can just kill with the Terra Blast fighting. And the nice thing is, because we don't have the Smooth Rock, Sandstorm is much more temporary, meaning the, the extra drill will be much easier to deal with in the future. Hey, Kiara, right now, see how it's just Terra Blast fighting. Yes, he stayed in! All right, Pikachu, you got this. You're gonna kill Godzilla. We're reenacting the Kalos League. Don't reenact the Kalos League, Pikachu. Don't do it. We don't want to lose to Blastopano. Pika. And boom! The seven deadly fists of Pikachu strike down Godzilla. Unfortunately, I probably should let. Pikachu die here, because we don't have many switch-ins to the Delphox. Because Greninja's not really bulk enough to be one. Excadrill, okay. I imagine, yeah, he has to get 
some uh, turns off pure kills. Regardless, I need to let Pikachu die here. We're out of switch ins. I think the plan is to go into Dragapult, and then I think we can live one hit, and then Will O Wisp the extra drill to our relevancy, and then just wait out the sand. So, Terra Blast. Yes, you stayed in! Are we getting three kills with Pikachu? Come on! Oh! Oh well, not actually- not, not even as a meme, that's fine. We can- we can- we have a uh, priority to finish it off. So Pikachu! Rez up, buddy! You got two kills! And nearly killed the Excadrill. GG's. Is that going away? Oh! Excadrill just dies. That's actually perfect because that means if the Gyarados wants to try setting up, it'll have to be chipped down by the sand as well as this burn. The gym. We're bringing in the gym? Question mark. Gyarados, perfect! Now we will a wisp. We cannot risk him setting up and winning the game. Even if he switched into Del Fox here, that's fine. That just means Gyarados won't be winning the game on the spot. Yes! Dragon pulled the reliable. Come on, go for D dance. Let me read you like the book. Oh, scale shot! I mean, that's also bad. But do we- No, we want to speak- Oh, you disabled! Can we stop you right there? No, you get your move off. That's fine. Okay, okay, I can stop it. That's fine! Five hits! Well, we're not living a hit. Oh, well. We should be able to finish off the Del Fox with Greninja, regardless. How long is the sand lasting? Regardless, I don't think we'd live another hit. Especially if it's scale- well, it can't be scale shot. Whatever it wants to go for next, I doubt we'd live it. But it's fine, Dragapult's done more than enough to rest up, so I'm hexing this turn. Yeah, he's letting Gyarados die. Bueno! The only real issue here is if- <gasps> That was a crit! The sand! <laughs> Dragapult, you legend! You legend, they're gonna be passive kills galore. Passive kills galore, I say. And yeah, there goes the Gyarados. That is another excellent part of Dragapult's record. And now that Delphox, Delphox comes in, and we just stay in until we die. Whatever Delphox wants to do, we can finish it off with the Greninja. And there's the fox. Ah, Del Fox, my old Terra Captain. Back before I knew how to make a thumbnail. I'm sorry it had to be like this. But it's either you or me. Ooh, ooh half. It's clean half. And yeah, let's just go into... Get cool. I wish we can get Ash Greninja here so we could fully just make a Kalos Leak joke, but I'm out of Kalos Leak jokes. So, GG's to THE NH, not just your average NH. Going into Blastoban. And I'm just going to Shadow Sneak, just in case. I can't tell if there was Life Warp Chip or not. But I'm gonna play it safe and go Ghost, Danny Phantom. And with that, we live! See you guys week two. We're back on the board. Bye-bye.